the Lord Sri Krishna in his supreme abode of Goloka really has nothing to do with creation of material existences. It is through his various expansions and incarnations that all of this work is done. The original personality of Godhead is Rasa Bihari. He only has one business, to engage in loving pastimes with his devotees. But we should know that all the devotees of Krishna are all expansions of himself. There is the Vishnu Tattva, those expansions which are directly and personally Krishna himself, who assumes various forms in various places. For instance, Narayan and all of the various avatars, Leela avatars, they are Krishna who have expanded as the self-same person, revealing various attributes and opulences of his Supreme Personality. And then there is Shakti Tattva, Srimati Radharani in the world of Braj Bhumi. She is non-different than Krishna. There is no difference between Radha and Krishna. The one personality has expanded into two forms for the sake of intimate loving exchanges. She is the supreme enjoyer, the supreme most enjoyed, and Krishna is the supreme enjoyer. But how can you enjoy if you have nothing to enjoy? So Srimati Radhika is the supreme absolute truth who has appeared to fulfill his every desire in the form of his pleasure potency. And there is also the Tathasti Shakti or Jiva Tattva, the infinitesimal part and parcels of Krishna who are eternally subordinate to Krishna and have free choice, independence to either surrender in love to Krishna or to rebel against Krishna. Now this Jiva Tattva is always subordinate. Nitya Nityanam Chaitanas Chaitananam Eko Bahonam Yovedadati Kaman but we have the choice of being subordinate to either Krishna's superior spiritual energy or his inferior material energy, which is conducted by the three modes of material nature. We are all servants of Krishna. If we serve him directly, then we can achieve eternal bliss, eternal knowledge, and awareness of our eternal existence. But if we serve him indirectly by serving his maya, shakti, his external energy, then we become covered of our true identity and we have to suffer the threefold miseries of material existence, miseries caused by one's own body and mind, miseries caused by other living beings, and miseries caused by natural disturbances, higher powers. And we are subjected to the repetition of birth and death and all of the sorrows that pertain to that. So for the jiva soul, as well as for the liberated souls, who are eternally anxious to engage in the Lord's service. The Lord manifests through an energy, through a principle, by which he engages all living beings in his loving service. And this is called Guru Tattva. It has been explained by great acharyas that the conditioned jivas in this world, that point where Krishna of the spiritual world embraces the jiva of this world, that is called Guru Tattva. That is Guru. Guru is that place of our meeting with Krishna. And that Guru Tattva is categorized by the previous Acharyas as neither Vishnu Tattva or Jiva Tattva. It is in its own unique category. A Jiva soul who is an inspired devotee surrendering his lives to the previous Acharyas. That soul by the arrangement of previous acharyas, may be endowed with Guru Tattva, which is actually Krishna himself spreading his mercy and revealing himself. Krishna, his original expansion is Lord Valaram, and he is the Guru Tattva, because in the spiritual world, he is making all arrangements for all of the eternal souls to engage in the loving service of the Lord. The abode of Vrindavan is the expansion of Balaram. And everything in Vrindavan is ultimately working under his instruction. So therefore, 
the connection between all the liberated eternal associates of the Lord in the spiritual world, they only approach Krishna through the grace of Balaram or Srimati Radharani, depending on the particular Ras, and their associates. So it is Balaram who in the spiritual world is facilitating devotion for all beings to Radha and Krishna. That is Guru Tattva. And in this material world, it is Lord Balaram himself in this form of Guru Tattva that empowers the spiritual masters to engage us in the loving service of the Lord and to reveal Krishna to us. Sometimes we hear that there's only one Guru, Jagad Guru or Krishna, specifically revealing himself through Balaram. And in this way, all Gurus, true Gurus, bona fide Gurus, are simply empowered representatives of that tattva, of the original Guru. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com.